Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Spyro 2 with me Insane Spyro where we have just jumped into our next level which is the level of Colossus. So what's the problem in Colossus? Let's have a look. Oh dear, it seems we have a Yeti problem, so we must decide to go and get rid of the Yeti. Also, don't forget to look directly behind you when the level starts, because there are gems that are easily missable. And shut up, I've just told them about the Yeti. So yes, um, not made a video in a while. One main reason is I was on vacation, and... Well, I guess I went on vacation at the weirdest possible time because obviously if you've been paying any kind of attention to the news, there is the English riots or the London riots which spread across all of England and yeah, lots of looting and all of the other stuffs. But that seems to have all blown over and um, yeah, so... Let's just ignore the London riots, because I was away and I don't actually know anything about them. But no, I was not involved, and yes, I am fine. I, nothing got burnt down, as far as I know. And we've got other stuff that I've come back to, which is like, ah, really? So one thing, which I was actually going to post with this video, was like, here's a link. But then two hours later, it's like, no, we might as well not have the link because um, my friend Cherry. Who needs a key when you know how to chant like this? I want to talk about this. Who needs a key when you know how to chant like this? But does that seems like a lot of wasted energy? You know, you're chanting to levitate this giant stone structure. Surely a key would be so much easier. Enemies. Are you still talking? I thought I, I thought we'd already learn all the moves in like um, Glimmer, the little gem of the world. I can't believe you're still telling me things that I already know. But yes, anyway, um, back to my story now that the chanting guy is over. Oh, did I hit him perfectly on the side? Interesting. Yes, back to my story now that the little chanting guy is over. Yes, I come back to another piece of news. That after 10 successful years, um, my friend Cherry, her business is closing down because her business partner, soon to be husband, is setting sail on a magical metal bird that flies through the sky and they're going to the land down under to see Hippie. Well, actually, they're not going to see Hippie, but they are going to be permanently moving there. So, um, Robert, who is, as I say, Cherry's business partner and soon-to-be husband, because they're getting married out there, congratulations, both of you. Um, he went walkabout during the London riot, and he went to Australia, where he's like, ooh, here's a nice little business or of a bar, and seems he earned a lot of money from the business he was doing in England. Um, he's like, I'm going to use that money to retire and have a nice little bar down under in Australia. Um, so, yes, he's retiring and going into, well, semi-retiring and going to own a nice little bar in Australia. And what I was going to say was, um, if you want anything from Cherry's business, because, you know, it's closing and, uh, and, uh, she posted on her Facebook and all the other places that she's closing in December and it's like, oh, get it now. And it's like, okay, well, I'll post this link saying, here's a link where you could buy some stuff before she closes in December. But then two hours later, she come up with another link saying, that's it. The books are closed. We can't take any more orders, commissions, anything else. So the books are closed. So, yes. You can't actually have a commission, so that link is entirely pointless. Anyway, we're at the top of the level. Onward to fight that yeti! 
Raw. You shouldn't be doing that. Uh, there's a thing. You. I thought the Yeti was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. Roar, roar. <laughs> anyway, I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. Really? Oh! I thought the Yeti was tougher than that. I thought he could easily take a five-ton rock to the skull. Uh, yes, I'm fine for inventory. Yes, I thought the Yeti was tougher than that. I truly did believe that he could take a five-ton rock to the skull and manage to somehow survive. No, sir. I don't think... I don't think even the bosses could take that much to the skull and stay alive. Anyway, we are now going for our first orb, oh, which goodness, you is to go around all of the statues. You may have noticed them around the level, to go across all the statues and get rid of the ghastly, because they do look a lot like ghastly. Let me just uh, go outside and flame one of these statues. You'll know which ones are bad, because look, they look bad. Oh no, it's ghastly! There's another ghastly! Pokemon has invaded my world! And now I must scare the ghastly away! So, um, yes, there's gems down there, so make sure you don't miss them, and there is also a rocket behind me which will activate a chest. And again, you will have to glide and hover and land on the platform to make sure you get all of the gems. Or if you fall off like an idiot, like me, you can just use the spring thing to get all the gems, like that. Well, let's go around the bottom first and get all the gems at the bottom. Also, Colossus will actually be two parts, because there is a lot to do in Colossus, so I will split this video into two parts, maybe the um, second part tonight, maybe tomorrow. But, uh, yes, so, we've done the London riots, we have covered Cherry's business, which is closing down, or has now officially closed, and we just have to finish the commissions off. And next is the joint let's uh die sheep is the joint let's play with me and JB which will be coming very shortly as I have nearly completed the setup things which I need to complete to actually set it up and get it ready. Is there a statue back at the beginning? I can't remember. No there is not, so let's charge back to all those other statues. Ugh. Go on. Across we go, there's two here, so let's get rid of these ghastly. Be gone, ghastlies! Be gone from my world! Return to your own Pokemon universe! And now... Um... Six. Six, six, six. I'm just trying to have a quick think where the other ones are. There's one in here, one over there, and that's eight. And two there, yes, so... I've actually just realised that the other Ghastlies will be near the um, second orb, which is awesome. So we can get these and then go straight to the second orb. Oh no, we get teleported back though, don't we? Uh, what would be the best solution? You see, we're going over here and the stone statues are over here. But I'm just trying to think what would be the best solution because when we flame the last statue, we will get teleported back to the professor. So should we go do the orbs while we're here? Um, I will think about that. Well, yes, there's a couple of gems in the ice cave, and is that all the gems? Yes, it is. So now we're gonna do some... Ooh, don't fall off the cliff. Jump down. And flame that guy. There we go. Nine. So the last one is over there, but we're out of time, so I will see you in part five where we will finish up Colossus and we will go do some ass hockey. See you then.